What's going on hikers? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite gadgets that help me while I'm out on trail and I'm backpacking. I normally don't film inside, but uh, it's really rainy out today and I thought it'd be fun to change things up. So the first thing is these little um, hangers. They're called Speed Hangers by Apex Giants and really all they do is keep your backpack off the ground. Now, if you're wondering on the weight, this one is one inch tall and it weighs 1.4 grams or 0.05 ounces. This is the two inch tall hanger and it weighs 0.2 ounces or 5.7 grams. And like I said, the goal is to keep your backpack a little cleaner, keep you from having to bend over to rummage through your backpack. You know, I like to set up my stuff at camp, hang that backpack up and everything is easy access for me. Now, if you want to check out any of the products that I'm talking about today, maybe do a further deep dive or even buy one. I know the holiday season is here and these make great gifts because a lot of them are inexpensive. I will link them all in the description below. But the next thing I want to talk about is kind of a group of items and it would be attachments that would go on the shoulder strap of your backpack. Now I have a few by Gossamer Gear. This one is called the Feed Bag and it's exactly what you'd think. It's a bag to put some food in, to keep it on your shoulder, keep it handy, quick access. It's got a cinch top on it so you can close it up and then kind of universal attachments on each piece of gear here in this little group. As long as your backpack shoulder strap has like daisy chains or some anchor points, you can pretty much rig all these up. They're kind of made to be universal fits, but uh, I have a couple others here on this Gossamer Gear Mariposa backpack. This is a water bottle pocket and it kind of has these little straps around it so you can really cinch in your bottle and it won't be jarring around because it can be uncomfortable to have things on your shoulder. Um, it also is stretchy, so it'll fit a pretty large water bottle. In fact, I have put a one liter Fiji water bottle in here. I know, fancy, uh, but they have a weird shape to them and it still fits, so it worked out just fine. And then for your cell phone, now my cell phone, sometimes I'll have it in my pocket, but it kind of gets sweaty while I'm walking. So it has been really handy to have it on my shoulder. Now this Gossamer Gear cell phone holder, it's got a little zipper on the top. It's not waterproof. Um, it is, it's kind of cushioned. It's kind of odd, but it's a little bit annoying to unzip with one hand. Still gets the job done. I've just left it on this backpack and then it has a stretchy front on it. So I usually keep like chapstick in here or some sunscreen or something I want quick access to, something that I don't wanna to have to rummage around for that I use quite a bit. And I do have one other shoulder strap attachment. It's weird, <laughs> I put it on this new Hyperlite backpack that I bought, but it's made by Chicken Tramper Ultralight Gear, AKA Sea Tug. And this one, it's Velcro. So it's made of X-Pack. I think it's a little bit more water resistant. I wouldn't really necessarily call it waterproof, but the cell phone holder fits my iPhone Plus. It's 11 Pro Plus, I don't know. It's the big iPhone, but it'll fit in here. And they have different sizes that you can buy. And you can pick out whatever colors you want with SeaTug. I got this email not too long ago about a Kickstarter and they sent me some of these infinity tools. These are made by Model Outdoors. And at first, whenever I saw them, I was like, yeah, I'll give them a try. I'll see whenever I get around to it. But then I bought that Hyperlite backpack and it didn't have a place for me to strap my chair in. And what these things are, are pretty much, um, I don't know, they're, they're stretchy and they have a little mechanism on it so that you can cinch it closed. And it's almost like a little backpacking ratchet strap is what I would compare it to. But there's a million uses for these things. Um, they have an eight inch version and they have a six inch version. Uh, the weight on those would be 0.6 ounces for the eight inch version. And that would be 18 grams. And then for the 16 inch version, it's one ounce or 28 grams. And of course you have to account for that little piece of metal on there. Uh, is why there's a discrepancy and then of course the length, but they have different colors. They're almost like a little carabiner. If you need to hook stuff to your backpack, I cinched my chair up with them. I also twisted up my like waterproof stuff sack type deal that I line my pack with. And then I, I twisted it up and then I cinched one of these things around it to kind of keep water out because we got rained on on the last trip I was on. Now the fourth gadget I've been using for a long time now, and I do a lot of hammock camping, it is a hang time hook. And I've talked about these before on the channel. Basically all they do is hold your phone up and they will suspend it above you while you're lying in your hammock. Or is it laying in your hammock? I don't know. Not an English major, but this will allow you to watch movies and shows on your phone without having to hold it up. 
<laughs> That's one of the reasons I love hammock camping is because I have that ridge line there and I can hang stuff across it. It also has this like little, I don't know, it's like a little hook hanging out and I will sometimes hang my battery pack off that hook so that I can charge my phone at the same time while it's hanging up there and I'm watching a movie or whatever while I'm falling asleep at camp. My fifth gadget would be a minimalist wallet. You wanna ditch the thick tri-fold, stuff everything in it wallet and go to something more minimal. And I've tried a bunch of different wallets. The one I'm currently using is with today's video sponsor, which is The Ridge. You can check them out at ridge.com forward slash Jeremiah and get up to 40% until December the 22nd. So a little holiday gift for those people out there. But I have here the Forge Pacific key case and wallet combo and the things I love about the wallet, a couple things, I have a money clip on here, and I always love to have a little cash on me. And then it fits a ton of cards inside the wallet. It's got a little, little space here that you can push your cards up and easily grab them out of there. And then the key case is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it just stores your keys. So when I'm ready to get in my truck, here's my key. It's good to go. I gotta, I don't have the push start. <laughs> Mine's the insert. Or you need to unlock your house. You always have the key case with you. It's got a little attachment here. So it fits in your pocket and it's not going to slide down and scratch everything up. So huge thank you to ridge.com for sponsoring today's video. Go on there, buy you a wallet or buy something for somebody for the holidays. Our next piece of backpacking gear, easily attained, <laughs> super inexpensive. You can buy it at Costco, Walmart, wherever. It is just a simple carabiner. Now I have two here, a C-shaped carabiner and an S-shaped carabiner. This one's just plastic, so it would break pretty easily. This one is metal, but it'll bend pretty easily. These don't have to be weight-bearing carabiners. Those are fine too, but these are super ultra light, super easy to get your hands on, and they have a million uses. Like you could hang up clothes that are wet, or you could hang your bear bag using a carabiner. This S-shaped carabiner I used last weekend on a trip. There are 30 or 40 mile per hour winds, and I was in my hammock. Well, I had to close my doors on my tarp, so I used this little carabiner, and then I used some cordage that I had to attach the carabiner to the tree, and then voila, I had a perfect shelter system and no rain got in on me. So. Add these to your backpacking repertoire. Just clip them on the outside of your backpack. Take two or three with you. They weigh almost nothing and they're super cheap. We all poop. That is right. And if you want to keep yourself clean down there, you don't want to just use dry toilet paper. You don't want to use that John Wayne toilet paper. Rough, tough, and don't take crap off nobody. What you want to do is use at least some kind of wipe or my personal preference is a pocket bidet. It's just a little piece of plastic or rubber. You fill up a bottle, you insert it, and then you're ready to squirt that in whatever direction that you need. You can kind of clean your nether regions, wipe off at the end of the day, but especially when you're doing number two, this thing comes in super handy. I literally use it every day at my house too. Um, very inexpensive, can just be bought on Amazon. I'll link, if I can find this one in particular, it was actually sent to me by a subscriber, but if I can find one similar to it, I'll link it below. Now, I want you to comment down here and tell me what are some other gadgets that we should have shared in this video. Also, check out this video here if you wanna shed some weight from your backpack and have a better time being more comfortable while you're on trail. If you've enjoyed, give me one of these, subscribe to the channel, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next one.